Police are investigating a fatal hit and run that left one man dead on the San Jose State University campus this morning. Authorities on the search for the suspect. The driver drove away, didn't uh, attempt to contact anyone to uh, render aid to the, uh, to the victim, never called 911. And so we're trying to identify who this driver is. Still a lot of questions remain about this morning's incident. KPX 5's Jackie Ward has reaction from students. We are on East San Fernando and South 4th Streets in San Jose, where a man was found and pronounced dead at the scene here. It's right near the library at San Jose State that closed at 9 last night. San Jose police say a man was hit by a car around 2.45 this morning. They got a call that his body was in the middle of the street. You know, there's always people and there's random adults or people that come into campus, but nothing to be afraid of. San Jose State students we spoke to were surprised something like that could happen here, despite it being a busy street. So it is scary, you know, if we come steady and then come out early or late, yeah. then you never know. You never know. It's pretty busy during the daytime. I, I don't really come at night. I used to have a night class last semester, but it wasn't as bad. So it's pretty sad that that actually happened. I've never seen that. San Fernando between South 4th and South 10th was closed until about 7 this morning and didn't impact traffic too badly. San Jose State was unable to provide surveillance video or tell us whether the victim was a student. The identity of the victim won't be released until it's confirmed by the Santa Clara County Coroner's Office and the family is notified. In San Jose, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. This is the city's 29th fatal collision and 12th vehicle versus pedestrian fatal collision so far this year. Anyone with information on this investigation is asked to call San Jose Police.